So, as promised, we're back. And the first one out of that lot is this little Bengs Flame Gulper. Flame Eater. Whatever you, uh, whatever you want to call it. I actually have zero knowledge of these whatsoever. After a little bit of googling, it would appear that as the piston starts off at top dead centre, uh, the valve opens, as you can see the little arm at the bottom there, that's opening the valve, that draws the heat in, and then as it hits top dead centre it closes, cools the hot air, pulling the piston back to top dead centre. So it basically works backwards to the normal engine. Um, I have tried lighting it, I've had a flame in it, and it didn't work. So we're going to take this cover off, take the burner out, have a little look and see if we can work out exactly what the problem is. Hopefully you can see from there. So I'm guessing this is a bit of a shroud for the burner so you can adjust the flame. Put the bits up there so we don't lose anything. This is the burner itself which will wind out of there and there's two little screws holding this cover on it's actually rather realistic for some sort of hot bulb which not many of the flame eater engines are that's why I quite like this one well that's going to be half the problem there straight away don't know whether you can see that but that's not lined up so when that closes that is actually still partially open so that definitely won't be helping even with it closed oh. even with it closed you can see that doesn't close the valve at all so we'll start off by adjusting that, I think. Now, some of you might pull a face at this, but believe it or not, due to working on the normally a lot larger engines, I don't actually possess a spanner small enough for that. So uh, you're going to have to forgive me for now. A set of small spanners is on the way. eBay to the rescue. So that's got it squared up so it covers the hole and it's relatively straight but I don't know whether you can see that's still kind of travelling just a bit too much so I'm going to say the way to cure that is going to be on here because turn it round we've got the cam there operating the follower and the arm so if we just wind that off a bit and just drop that back enough so that when the valve's closed, it is actually closed. Thankfully, with a little ball-ended Allen key, we can just get on there, in there, under the crank to uh, to make sure that works. So if we hold that there and nip that back up. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but that does completely cover, and it actually sounds like it has some kind of compression. So I think that's, that's worth a trial. I've also just noticed that it seems to have fantastic compression one minute especially in the wrong direction but then all of a sudden if that valve doesn't seat properly it completely disappears but it appears to be staying there was going to pop that exhaust off and have a look but I don't think we need to that'll do so in that case I'm going to put it back together before we do I'm just going to prime this little burner 
because if you leave it down here below the level of the fuel that does seem to uh, flood itself a bit or it did that's the key now there we go I can see it flowing there's a little wick in here to help lift it from there to there to the actual burner there's the wick why aren't we getting any fuel there we go so if we turn that tap off and take the pipe out fit it into the cover Go yeah, like that. No. Fit the cover. Can't put it in before the cover because the screws won't have room to go in. So I'll put that like that. And that back in there like that. One that's two, and then we'll put the burner back in. That could do with a way of positively holding it as opposed to a bit of thread and a rubber hose but we'll worry about that later once it's running I think turn on the tap it's going to be on put in the adjuster for the flame and light it. I think we need a different style lighter for that, so that the flames that can get in it. Take that just out a moment. There we go. I'll just pick the camera up and show you. You can actually see the flame in there. Move it back round so you can see it. Not sounding very keen, is it? And the flame's gone out. I'll leave that on maximum flame for now. Seems like it's trying. Has anybody got much idea what this adjuster's for? I suppose it's the speed in which the valve closes. Um, whether that makes too much difference. Yep, 
You are going to have to bear with me on this one. You're learning at the same time as me. I did read on Google a little bit that uh, some of them like to be pre-filled with a bit of warm water to help it warm up. So maybe we should try that in a minute. Now this is literally only just warm. But maybe, you never know. Also I've left it burning while I went and fetched that. That does seem like it's trying. I've also read that they like extremely little if possible no friction whatsoever and that does seem a little bit oily so that might help to uh, take the piston out and clean it up I think if it doesn't decide to pick up and it doesn't look like it's going to I'm afraid So I've just decided to undo the exhaust and have a little look in there. This little valve sits in the exhaust uh, and pops up and down on its seat. But I've just had a look in there, there's no ring and it's no longer an O-ring. I don't, well I've dropped it now but yeah. So that right there will explain the intermittent compression won't it so we're going to go and have a look in the shed and see if we've got one that size hopefully we can got something to sort it out so we've had a good look in there and to me that looks like the reason there's an o-ring is because we didn't quite get the seat right when the machine did so this stick with a little ball sits in that seat I did find a video of a very similar engine uh, and it had a flap on the exhaust which you can see the hinge for there so I'm guessing something went wrong we came up with this idea it probably did work so we've changed the o-ring in the exhaust and as disappointing as it is still no different we have now obviously got a seal but it's still not wanting to run as I said before, my knowledge of these is zero. Has anybody got any suggestions? Anything else we can try? I think, as I said previously, it'll probably benefit from a bit of a strip down and clean the oil out the bore. But I can't imagine just that little bit of oil is making it so reluctant to run. So if anybody's got any ideas or suggestions, I'd very much appreciate hearing from you. If you haven't already, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe. And as I say, if you've got any suggestions, give us a comment down below. If you ever have had this problem before with similar engines, I'd love to hear your experiences on it. See you again.